Well, that was embarrassing. Never again will I say hi to someone I think I know because more often than not, it will turn out to be a complete stranger. So from now on, if I happen to walk past someone who looks even remotely familiar, I'm just gonna keep on walking. Has this ever happened to you before? I mean, if it has, then maybe it's time that we both get our eyes checked. So today, I'm gonna get new lenses for my eyeglasses so I can finally see and say hi to the right people. Today on Stocks Around Us, we are here at the Hawen store, which sells all these eyeglasses and special lenses. So the company that we're going to explore is one of the leading producers of optical lenses. Ladies and gentlemen, Thai Optical Group Public Company Limited. Thai Optic Group is the original equipment manufacturer, or OEM, of optical lenses in which they sell the product to different distributors, eyeglass chain stores, and factories. However, they also have their own brands called Exolite. This company is very innovative, always developing new types of lenses with new technology. Currently, they produce standard lenses, value-added lenses, RX prescription lenses, mineral lenses, and other products and services. So let's talk about the characteristics of these lens types. Well guys, I finally have new lenses! So just in time too, because we're about to go meet a very important guest, ladies and gentlemen, Kun Virat Prajaktam. He's the MD of TOG. So we're gonna go see him at his office. Let's go! Thank you so much for having us at your office today. You're welcome. So let's talk about the optical lens industry for a bit. How is the industry like in Thailand? How many big players are there? Uh, actually, we have a big, uh, few big players. It's a small industry. Right. We have like a uh, producer from uh, France, from uh, Japan, from Germany. Uh, this is account to be uh, almost like uh, sixty percent of the uh, total shares, world shares, and uh, as well as uh, not only in Thailand but the worldwide. It's the same trend. Oh, so just a few big players worldwide right. as well. Right. And also, if you operate in this field, innovation is quite important. And you know, we see contact lenses, LASIK, and yeah. things. These could substitute your product, possibly. How, what are your views on how they threaten you or complement you? Uh, so far, talk about contact lens, uh, it's not quite uh, a threat. Uh, and we see that uh, a lot of uh, optical shops they sell contact lens as a complement of the spectacle because contact lens uh, in any case still not uh, as convenient as your own eyes uh -huh. and this is same as uh, spectacles they have good thing but uh, also they have a uh, shortcoming so, so they don't steal your market right we still see that uh, we can uh, go together with the uh, contact lens why another LASIK uh, LASIK, this one also, uh, when talk about this, uh, still market it uh, small, but uh, of, of course they grow. But uh, in the uh, optical business, I think we have a, a very big uh, chunk of a market ahead of us. Right now, uh, I think that uh, uh, the wearer is about 25% uh, in uh, overall. But uh, the opportunity can be as much as 60%. So there has a room from 25% go to 60%. Mm. So still a lot of room. So you, 
you're saying that people don't mind spending more money on more premium lenses. Yeah, if the quality is up to their spending. Actually, it's a nature of everybody. They would like to find a, a, a better product. And they, of course, they have a, a little bit of money to spend mm. on the premium. See and what is you know I see there are so many products you have here. What is the one that you want to demonstrate? You know the new products. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the latest one yeah. would be uh, this one. Otherwise, uh, we would be uh, our fashions. Uh, this is the latest technologies uh, uh, we call uh, extra light nano blue. Nano blue. Nano blue. Yeah. What does this mean? Uh, nano blue is mean that uh, we use the technology of uh, nano technologies. Uh -huh which is uh, apply the very thin, uh, uh, tiny uh, film onto the uh, lens surface. It's as uh, small as uh, in terms of nanometer. Oh. And this, uh, the function is uh, they would not only cut the UV light, but they also cut the blue light. Uh, blue light is uh, well known as the, the a certain wavelength is not good for our health or our visions. Uh -huh. uh, once we cut it, uh, we will see clearer visions. And this kind of lens uh, uh, tend to use with the uh, uh, iPad, tablet, computers, uh, mobile phone, oh. things like that. So you should wear this when you're on the computer yeah. or with the iPad. Yeah. So this is the blue light, right? Can I, may right. I? Yeah, sure. Um, this is a, with a normal lens. Uh, you can see that uh, the blue light amount uh, would be uh, normal. Yes. They would pass. Mm -hmm. But once uh, we pass uh, with this oh. lens, they'll cut as much as 30% of blue light. It's greatly reduced. Right. Oh, I see. But we cannot cut them all because a blue still we need uh, uh, this color to see uh, whether the blue is blue. Oh. Is, it, is it the same for UV or is this the same? Uh, UV for? is uh, more uh, a lower nanometer uh -huh. range of uh, uh, wavelength. Oh. Okay. So see. blue light is between like something above uh, 400, from 400 to 460 nanometer. I see. While UV is anything uh, below uh, 400, they consider UV range. Very interesting and match with our lifestyle these days. Yeah, right. What is your strategy in developing new products like this? Um, actually, uh, because um, normally we are not a company which is uh, uh, always putting innovative pro product. Actually, the, such kind of product is existing in uh -huh. the market. We always see uh, whether, uh, whether uh, first uh, where to sell the product if mm -hmm. we develop. That one is the first thing that we need to keep in mind. Mm. And secondly is whether we have uh, um, uh, ability to develop and ability to do better than our competition. So if we have, we have the uh, market, we have ability to uh, develop such product, then uh, we go on uh, to develop. And Nandabu is one of them. Mm. And uh, there actually there's uh, also other product which is in the uh, impact, high impact resistant uh, category. Uh, we develop like one six index for high impacts. The lens is uh, so-called tri-bridge. It's in the market during the uh, launching uh, period at this moment. Oh, is, are you talking about this one? Is, uh, is this the high impact? This is a high impact uh, tri-bridge. Yes. This one is in the market for quite some time mm. ago. But tri-bridge is something that uh, is new not only a high impact, but it also enhance the index, which would reduce the thickness of the lens. Oh, so making it thinner. Right, oh. uh, together with the high impact. So resistance. thinner, but can withstand right. more. Right, oh, exactly. Okay. So with the AEC coming, do you have mm -hmm. any plan to expand your facilities or enter into AEC markets? For TOG? Uh, so far, what we have done uh, uh, in the regions, uh, we have established a partner in Singapore and Malaysia, as well as recently we established a good partner in Vietnam. Oh. And we have eyes uh, on other countries, but so far I cannot uh, uh, have the detail at this moment, but we are working on it. But you will establish partnerships in these different countries, that right. is your plan. Oh, yeah. I see. Well, thank you so much for today. We really learned a lot about optical lenses. So once again, thank you. Thank you very much. Sadika. Sadika.
financial highlights. At the end of 2012, TOG's revenue was over 1.5 billion baht. This is a growth of 5% from 2009. Its net profit was at 166 million baht, a growth of 8%. The net profit margin was about 10.5%, and the ROE was at 10.8%, growing by 10% in four years. The PE was at 20.5, which is a growth of 23%, and the PBV was about 1. At the end of 2012, the share price of TOG was about 3.4 baht. And the market cap of TOG at the end of this year's second quarter was over 1.5 billion baht. Ladies and gentlemen, that was TOG. Join us again next time for more company highlights with Me Pizza. Also, don't forget guys, you can catch our show on YouTube or on moneychannel.co.th. Bye, see you next time!